We're now going to talk about week two. There's a couple things that are important in week two. There is implantation into the uterus, the trophoblast splits, and the embryoblast splits, and this becomes a bilaminar embryonic disc. We'll now go into more detail about this. If all goes well, by the end of the first week, the blastocyst has been hatched safely into the uterus. Remember that the blastocyst has two layers, the inner cell mass, or the embryoblast, and the outer layer called the trophoblast. The trophoblast will eventually give rise to the placenta, which is the organ that provides oxygen and nutrients to the developing fetus and also removes waste products. A lot happens in the second week of development. In the second week, there is full implantation of the blastocyst into the mother's uterus. Uteroplacental circulation starts to develop. The beginning of the umbilical cord starts to develop. The amniotic cavity starts to develop. And then there is the concept of the bilaminar embryonic disc. So first of all, remember we said there was a trophoblast, which eventually gave rise to the placenta and a, and a few other things, and the embryoblast. The embryoblast now has a dorsal side or an epiblast, a back side, and a ventral side or a hypoblast or a front side. And it is called the bilaminar embryonic disc. When you look at this picture, you can also see that the trophoblast also has separated into two parts. Now watch this video of the events of the second week of development, including implantation and the development of the bilaminar embryonic disc. Don't panic about all the terminology. You just need the basics that are included in the narration of slide two. But you also need to get the big picture. So watch the video so that you can get the big picture of what is happening in week two. We're now into week three. There are four key occurrences in week three and we're going to go into each of them in detail. We are now in the third week of development. At about day 15, a midline groove thickens on the bilaminar disc, and this is called the primitive streak. The primitive streak helps define all the body axes. Because it's in the midline, you can now see medial and lateral, or middle and to the side. You can see cranial and caudal, cranial toward the head and caudal toward the tail, and left and right. Formation of the primitive streak leads to the important process of gastrulation. During gastrulation, epiblast cells move toward and through the primitive streak and into the interior of the embryo. The second thing that is really important in the third week of development is the process of gastrulation. Gastrulation is the process where the implanted blastula forms three germ layers. The bilaminar disc turns into a trilaminar disc with three separate germ layers. These three germ layers are the eventual building blocks of the organs of the body. The three layers are the ectoderm, the mesoderm or mesoderm, and the endoderm. The ectoderm is the top layer and it eventually forms the nervous system and the epidermis which is the top layer of the skin, so you can remember that easily. The mesoderm is the middle layer, 
and it eventually gives rise to the somites, which become the axial skeleton and the skeletal muscle of the neck, body, wall, and limbs. It gives rise to the heart and circulatory system, the urinary system, and part of the genital system. And it gives rise to the connective tissue of the body wall and limbs. The endoderm eventually becomes the gut and the gut derivatives. Here's a video about gastrulation and the formation of the three different layers. Take some time to study this slide because it is full of information that you will need. This talks about how the different layers become different parts of the body. You're going to want to come back to this slide over and over again throughout the next couple weeks. The third important item in the third week of development is the development of the notochord. The hollow notochordal process grows cranially from the primitive node of the primitive streak. And eventually it turns into a solid kind of cartilaginous rod called the notochord, which eventually contributes to the development of the nucleus pulposus of the vertebral disc, at least for uh, the fetus and children. The notochord has a mechanical and protein secreting role in embryonic development. Since you're a physical therapy students, and since the nervous system is so vital to the work of physical therapy, you'll definitely understand why the next event is important. In the third week, the primitive node induces the ectoderm to thicken into the neural plate. The neural plate is the beginning of the nervous system. The last event that we want to talk about that occurs in the third week of development is that the primitive cardiovascular system begins. And actually, the primitive heart starts beating by day 21 or 22. We'll have a whole class on the development of the heart. But let's talk now with a little more detail about the interface between the embryonic circulation and the mother's blood vessels. Remember that the chorion is the outermost fetal membrane around the embryo. The chorion and the amnion together form the amniotic sac. The chorionic villi, or little projections, emerge from the chorion and invade the endometrium of the woman's uterus. These chorionic villi start to develop on days 13 to 15, but they develop more in size and structure during week three. By 17 to 21 days, branches of the umbilical artery and umbilical veins vascularize the chorionic villi. Another detail here, later in the pregnancy, chorionic villus sampling can be used to check for genetic abnormalities. I put this slide in, but I really, really don't want you to get too hung up on all the details of it. But I want you to look at the big picture. Look at how involved the maternal fetal circulation is. There's a lot to this. And some of the problems that develop with babies that eventually get into physical therapy because they have problems at birth, it's related to maternal fetal circulation. So again, don't get too hung up on the details, but just take a look at how elaborate this is.